Hello, Macy here. This is Echo, a solar powered plane. I've been playing with the new um, ion engines, the ion drives, which are new to 0.18, as you know. Now, it's hard to find a practical application for these because the thrust is so minuscule. So, I guess this is an impractical application. But I just want to test what I can get away with with a single engine. And obviously, the best way of using these is for probes and I mean small probes at that without landers um, anything which is manned, anything with a capsule you, you really are pushing your luck because as I said the thrust is just so minuscule but with a plane um, I'm not having to fight gravity or anything else and I'm just relying mainly on lift and incredibly lightweight so I'm slowly building speed here and because I'm so light, I don't really need to be going that fast to, oops, to lift off. And um, there you go, just enough to keep me in the air. But we're flying. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to go and visit the second runway, which is on that island in the distance there. I've seen it a few times when I'm taking off and roaring into the skies, and I can see this little glint of a runway there and I've also seen a, a video on YouTube I'm very sorry I've forgotten who it who it was but he took a plane over there but he didn't look around he didn't go into the hangars I mean he maybe he did we didn't show that in the video so I just want to go over there and have a little poke around and look in those hangars and so on there this is a perfect opportunity to do it so these are the solar panels that are powering this iron engine and I'm not getting full power out of them because I'm not in direct sunlight and the problem with these little ones is they're not directional so you have to keep directly underneath the sun but the other ones will just rip off at even very low air speeds so here we are coming into land um, I've seen this is not an original idea I have seen other solar powered planes um, on YouTube but there's no reason I don't think for them to be that big and cumbersome I think anything you're doing with ion engines the secret is to keep the weight very small so um, this ship is this plane shall I say is very is very maneuverable but in a way it's too maneuverable it's a bit jumpy but let's see if we can get it down you can just see the buildings in the distance there the hangars that's what I want to take a, a closer look at if we survive this landing so we're coming in nice and straight it's looking good and there's your touchdown Whoa. now the problem I'm having is that my wheels are a little bit close together I should have spaced them but it's hard to find purchase on the bottom of those wings so you have to get them on wherever you can but no that's that's too shallow you can see I'm wobbling quite a bit there and I'm running out of runway so a lot of brakes and there you go we're down we're down it's actually quite a weird runway if you look I wouldn't want to fall off the edge of it so I'm just gonna taxi round and get back up to those hangars which I've massively overshot poke around and uh, see if we can get inside them at least maybe the Kerbal government are hiding some secret alien tech in there or something but look you can see something in there I love all these details they've added in recent versions of the game so here we are let's have a look at what these pile of what appears to be junk is in the corner so we've got couple of old fuel tanks oh look it's the old type fuel tank I'm with you and the old type rocket oh I see so this is like a little tribute to the old parts that are now defunct I actually didn't pick up on that when I recorded this so now I'm gonna have a look at this radio tower over here um, I did check the other hangars there's nothing in those so it's quite a weird little place here quite a lot of detail I'm not sure if it's going to be implemented in the game in some way in in the plot maybe it's some research facility or I'm not sure we'll have to find out so yeah there's a little door here so I 
tried my luck. Hello? No, of course not. So, yeah, that's the tower. This is the base. And look out for my next video. Um, I'll be focusing on iron drives and taking them into space.